Here with today is winning pitcher Vincent Bashaw as they defeat the Suffolk Voyages. Vince, you were tied your first six batters, five of them were consecutive strikeouts. What was your mindset just coming into the game today? I think it was just attacking those batters, and I was having fun while doing it. I didn't remember anything from that last outing, but I'm just going to attack them. Right, and speaking of that last outing, it was probably your worst one of the season, but you were able to bounce back today. What did it take to have that happen? Yeah, uh, I feel like it was just like preparing better. I don't know. Confidence. Definitely confidence. I came in this game with a lot of confidence. Confidence is definitely uh, key. Yeah. Your offense put up five runs in the first, four in the second, and then eight more in the third. So you were standing out in the bolt in the dugout for a while. Did that have a hinder on your performance today, or do you think it helped you more than it hurt? No, I definitely feel like my, before my last inning, I definitely should have went and threw again, but it is what it is. I don't think it changed anything, and if it did, that's my fault. But yeah, definitely went from sitting 10 minutes, sitting 15 minutes, and sitting like 45 minutes. Do you, do you feel more comfortable when you have a lead like that? Obviously, it sounds like a bad question, but you're out there for so long and maybe you have a different mindset as you have a bigger lead. Do you attack the hitters a different way when you're up by that much? I feel like my mentality is still the same, whether it's we're up 15, down 15, tie game. I feel like my mindset will always be the same. Well, attacking Vince, batters. gotcha. So attacking batters is the key for Vince and Bashar. Vince, thank you for joining me. I'm Hayden Vandell. You're watching the Tidewater Summer League YouTube channel as the Norfolk Redbirds beat the Suffolk Voyagers 20-7 to improve to 4-7 in PCL play.